In a normal year, Velma Acorn would be decorating and baking by now. After getting diagnosed with cancer in September, though, Acorn has been undergoing chemo treatment and not feeling up to normal holiday things. But for Tristan Tort, Acorn's granddaughter, that doesn't mean the family can't still try to embrace the holiday spirit. I was here the other night to stay with her, um, be, the night before she had started chemo for this cycle, and a Canadian Tire commercial came on and it had a lot of lights on a house and I said it like half jokingly because it was a lot of lights and I was like how would you like your house decorated like that Matt and she's like oh I'd love it and I was like really and she's like yeah she's like I love it and then she's like Alfie which is my poppy she's like he decorated here one year it was the best Christmas ever and then I thought I mean may as well like why not decorate it why not go go as big as I possibly could. Tort planned to decorate Acorn's house while she was away at a chemo appointment. Tort posted on Facebook about the idea, and people offered to help and donate right away. They even sent money to buy decorations. When it came time to set up on November 18th, 23 people came to help throughout the day. The help was needed, Tort said. I've never decorated outside before in my life. Um, and so when I went and I was talking to a friend and she had said, oh, like, how much stuff do you have? And she, uh, she asked about how many extension cords I had, and I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't think about extension cords. So throughout the day, we had to send people to Monarchy to buy more extension cords, and then we ran out of lights, and we had to go get them to set, go get more, and then we had the power, uh, like, break or something. It, like, blew out, and then luckily my roommate's an electrician, so he was here, and he fixed it, I think, about three or four times while he was here. Acorn's response when she got home on the 18th after her appointment was a bit muted, but it was clear to Tort she still appreciated it. I think it was a bit as good as we could have expected. Uh, she was quite surprised when we pulled in. I think at first she didn't really realize it was her house. And then she's like, oh, is, did you do this today? So, <laughs> no, um, I think maybe, she's really tired today. I think she'll have a, when she has time to adjust and realize everything and be able to see it, I think it will be really great. Reporting from Bell River for the Saltwire Network, I'm Logan McLean.